Hey guys and welcome back to another season of Discovery Gold Making Video. In this one I'm going to be showing you one of the best farms that you can be doing at the moment once you reach level 25. Before we get into it I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone that has gotten a copy of this season of Discovery Gold Guide. It really means a lot. So let's get right into this farm. Now the item that we're mainly after is the Heavy Stone and this has a 26% drop chance to drop 1 to 2 from these mobs you also can get elemental earth on top of that you have a few items that you can vendor for a decent amount of vendor gold and then also you can get this boe wand which sells for a lot of gold up on the auction house now where we're going to be farming is in thousand needles up on the far side or right down on the bottom side now the mobs that we're going to be farming are these guys right here so these guys right here they're spread out on the two locations that I just shown. They're around level 28 to 29, and they're very easy to kill on most classes. Now, what you're gonna be doing is running from location to location. Because there isn't a big amount of these, the respawn is going to be important. So you wanna make a little route, and you wanna follow that same route over and over again. And if you spin around and keep doing your route, by the time you get back to the start, they will have respawned, and you can continuously farm this without any downtime. Now to increase the spawns, if they're not spawning quick enough, you can kill some of the other mobs in the location and this will increase the respawn rate on these specific mobs. And also if someone is farming the same mobs but on the other side of Thousand Needles, this will also increase the respawn on these guys. So if you are having trouble with respawns, you just want to make sure that you kill some of the mobs around here and this will increase the respawn rate for these guys. But like I said, you want to have a route, so you want to go from spawn point to spawn point, and you want to continuously do that over and over again, and you should be able to get into a pattern where they constantly respawn for you um, by the time you get back around to the start. So on this side, there's four mobs that I go around from, four to five, and um, you just want to go from location to location, like I mentioned, and they will respawn by the time you get back to the start. Now, they're very easy to kill. They only do melee, so if you have any class that can kite or pretty much any class could probably do this that has a bit of DPS like I'm doing this on a mage right now and you barely get below like 80% health whilst farming these guys they don't have 1254 health so they're very easy to farm now on top of everything you can also get some really good BOEs because of the level of these guys the BOEs are going to be around level 22 all the way to 25 so that's perfect level for phase one and they're going to sell for a lot of gold some of these I've actually sold for like nine gold I think I sold one even as high as like 15 gold just one of the normal greens BOE gear that you get from these guys. Now the of the eagle is going to sell really really good especially in between level 20 and level 25. This is the best um, the best gear for cloth wearers that people can actually buy as BOEs and these sell for a lot of gold like upwards to like 30 gold each which is absolutely insane. Well on my round anyways they're really sought after because they have high intellect and then also very high stenoma um, and so a lot of casters really really want this gear it's very high in demand and if you're lucky enough to get one of them that will add even more gold to this farm but the majority of the gold is going to be coming from the heavy stone at the moment it's in very high demand it's used in a bunch of different i believe they make the different sharpening stones with the heavy with the heavy stone and they sell very quick on the auction house on my round uh, currently they're going from around like 20 silver all the way up to like 40 silver each and you can farm a lot of these from doing this farm and sometimes when you kill one mob you actually get two heavy stones in one go like as you see just there so we just got two heavy stones in one kill so this adds up very very quickly now with the elemental earth this isn't using too many things but it does actually sell pretty decently already but if you want to hold on to this this will be worth even more in the future phases but I'd recommend just selling it up on the auction house if your auction house has a good price like mine does. So on my auction house you can get around like 25 silver for the Elemental Earth, which is a good price considering this is, that's a pretty much like a side product. The main item that we're after is the Heavy Stones and they drop very consistently from these mobs. If you'd like to learn more about making gold in Season or Discovery, you can check out my Season of Discovery Gold Making Guide, which will be the first link down below in the description box. 
is mainly catered to phase one at the moment, but in future phases, it will be updated. And if you already own a copy, you will have a lifetime worth of free updates to this guide all the way through to the end of season of discovery. So that'll be the first link down below in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe for more gold making content.